Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name is Thamriel, welcome everybody to Final Fantasy XIV Commentary. I need to get back into making commentaries, I apologize that I haven't been able to make videos as of recent. Still a little bit under the weather, I've been dealing with health issues and personal issues, but that's honestly just for me to worry about. Y'all just want to see the videos and I'm more than happy to start making them again. Nevertheless, today's video is going to be about the grand housing fiasco that was patch 4.1 and oh my god. As my good buddy Captain would call this, it was a clown fiesta. It was like bulls on parade, it was insane, just absolute insanity. People clamoring and climbing on top of each other, toppling each other, taking each other down just so they could press their hands on the placard and obtain the property for themselves. I'm over dramatizing this, but it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. Even I had a hard time getting on and my FC members and I just got so prepped, got ready, got perfectly organized, perfectly strategized of everything we're gonna do in order to obtain a large or medium house and still end up not getting anything. Long story short, I did purchase a small home and converted it over for the FC and then purchased myself a little home in a goblet and it's pretty much empty. It's just kind of there to be a placeholder so I could, you know, transform my Shirogane home to the FC so we can have a different neighborhood. But I do want to give a huge shout out, a huge thank you to Tony Chang or Ri in our FC for trading in her medium home willingly uh, to get the uh, to trade in the, her medium home in the goblet for the Shirogane small house. So thank you again so much Ri, I really do appreciate that. If you see Tony Chang, T-O-H-N-I Chang over on Exodus of Prama Data Center, feel free to say uh, hello and uh, tell her hey, thank you for uh, helping out the family, it's really kind of you. Anyway, in today's video I want to talk a little bit about the housing fiasco and housing issue. First of all, I'll open up with a letter directly from Naoki Yoshida being posted on Lodestone forums, on official Final Fantasy XIV forums, in regards to housing in patch 4.1. Hello everyone, this is Final Fantasy XIV producer and director Naoki Yoshida. Patch 4.1 saw the introduction of the residential area Shirogane and thought we are pleased to see so many players enjoying this area. We also received a great deal of feedback regarding this newest addition to housing. While a great number of you were interested in either purchasing or relocating to a plot in Shirogane, we failed to prepare sufficient plots for players, and for that I deeply apologize. This problem was only made worse by the increased stress on the servers from player rushing to login after the end of maintenance. As a result, the system implemented to prevent players from abusing the relocation feature failed to function properly, preventing some players from relocating altogether. That's actually really unfortunate. I heard of some FCs on Exodus happening to that. Nevertheless, moving on. By the way, link to the forum is going to be in the description if you want to read along. I'll have the screenshot available on screen as well though. Although this issue will be addressed in today's hotfix, we understand this does not address the underlying issue. In light of the feedback we have received, we will be working to bolster our servers in preparation for additional wards in Lavender Beds, The Goblet, Mist, and Shirogane by patch 4.2. We also received considerable feedback as to how they should be added. We will be making an announcement outlining the number of new wards and how they will be sold after reviewing said feedback. To prevent speculation, we will refrain from releasing information until absolutely necessary. We ask for your patience and understanding until we can prove you with these details. I'll provide you with these details, sorry. I hope we can I hope we can count on your continued support and that you will all continue to enjoy the various new content added in patch 4.1. Sincerely, Nayuki Yoshida from the dev team. That was actually really nice of him. It's nice to know that the devs are aware and honestly it's a lot better than how the devs on Blizzard have ever uh, posted about not understanding issues. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry about that. He did a little bit of a uh, little of uh, angst about Blizzard slip out. I apologize. Nevertheless, it's nice to know that Yoshida, even Yoshi P, is recognizing the issue and is like, "Hey, y'all, we get it. We done goofed. That was a huge issue. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna be fixing it, y'all. So just hang in there and thank you so much for the support. Really do appreciate it." Nevertheless, there are some speculations about how they're going to be changing the housing system or the transfer system to transfer from one plot to the other in 4.2 and how many words they're going to be adding. I think the major problem with this whole thing was is that compared to when the housing was first released, the amount of player base was 
not as high as it is right now. It feels like the player base has definitely skyrocketed as of recent with the release of Stormblood. Let's say 40% of players in A Realm of Born were able to purchase a house. Now it feels like per the amount of houses available right now, even with small, medium and larges, 10% of players or 15, ballpark 20% of players are able to obtain a house. And the rest 80% kind of just sit around twiddling thumbs and hope apartments get better. And that's about it. Nevertheless, I do want to, in this video, talk a little bit about what they could possibly do and what they could even consider doing in the future. And these are not any ideas that I came up originally. They suggest some of them are going to be some things that I talked about with my twin about. We had a little discussion back and forth about this whole housing fiasco and the whole housing system in 14. And we came up with some decent ideas here and there. I'm pretty sure they were either implemented before in previous games or somebody on the forums or Reddit or YouTube has mentioned these ideas before, but nevertheless, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss some ideas out there that I was able to think of and just be able to, I guess, brainstorm with my twin on it. Like I said, these aren't original ideas, but I'm pretty sure some other people mentioned them before. One of the systems would be to actually upgrade the, the amount of floors you can have on a small, medium and large property. Let's say, for example, you have a small home and you have the ground floor and your underground floor, your basement, right? And you're able to pretty well customize with it. There's a lot of customization available for it already as is. You're able to customize the front lawn. But oh, what if you could purchase a second floor and have maybe like a little door that leads to a balcony area where you can have with your plants and like potted plants and stuff like that. You could decorate a little bit more. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe just limit it to only second floor, but that's about it. And maybe do the same thing for the medium house and large homes so that you can increase the amount of floors you can have and that will give you the amount of, a, you know, more customizability. So if you want to have a bedroom on the upper floor instead of the ground floor, you can do that and leave the ground floor for your bath or your decoration or your study or something. And then your lobby for, well, your lobby. Or maybe possibly upgrade the ground floor or the underground floor size. Let's say, for example, the small house in any plot, in any area, right? It's only yay big. You can't really make it wider because the plot itself, the area for the house, the the land is not big enough to really upgrade from a small house to a medium. It just wouldn't work, it wouldn't make sense. It would just kind of clip together. But what if you could upgrade the size of the underground floor and maybe make it wider, make it longer, make it maybe even a little deeper, give it add some stairs that lead even further down. Because see, while the outside in the ground floor areas are perfectly fine, because you know, they're perfectly fixed, the basements could always be expanded for players to have a bigger basement. So let's say, for example, people could actually expand the basement of a small home to slightly bigger, depends on how much guild they pay and in which direction they want to expand it towards. And it could be an easy guild dump with obviously limitations per different home. Obviously, large property would be able to expand the basement a lot more, a uh, small home would be able to expand it to a certain amount, and same thing with the medium one, and so on and so forth. That would be kind of a cool area, and at the same time would also not impede on the outside view of each home, whether it be small, medium, or large, because that would give the player the ability to expand the basement area, the one that nobody ever sees on the outside, but just the player sees as soon as they enter the home. Another idea that actually had a Another idea was brought up by my friend Oberon, or Elise, also on Exodus. Uh, he said it would be a really cool idea if they implemented a Animal Crossing-like, I believe that was the game, Animal Crossing-like system that allowed you to have extra rooms inside your home. Like, you could go up to an NPC and have them be able to build a door for you inside your own home to give you, like, a bedroom or a bath, which would be roughly the same size as your regular lobby room or whatever, just you would have to go through it like an instance area, almost like an FC home is a private room, but just for your personal home. That would let you, you know, add one to two rooms depending on how big your house is and stuff like that. That does actually sound like a pretty neat area, and it'll be instance, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal, allow players to customize more and be able to have separate rooms. So one could be a bedroom, one could be a lounge, one could be a bathroom or whatever, whatever people want to customize. Even one that could be a, uh, a balloon room. My buddy Elise has a lot of balloons in his house, like a ridiculous amount. A ridiculous freaking amount, just balloons upon balloons everywhere. You should see it, I might take a picture of it someday, nevertheless. Another good idea that somebody brought up, actually I think I heard Mr. Happy bring up, is the ability to get different size apartments. 
And that's actually a really good idea. Let's say, for example, we already have the current size apartments we have right now. They're very small, only one floor and everything. You can still customize them pretty well, but they're pretty limiting nevertheless. What if you could upgrade to a, a loft, right? A medium-sized loft in the apartment. Or even be able to cash in a little bit on a high-rise apartment up on the, up on the very cream of the top of the, the apartment building. With like a balcony view, two, two floors and stuff, stairs leading from upper to lower area, maybe give the ability to add some outdoor furnishings on the top of the apartment. And obviously have it be limited per building, obviously, like maybe only 10 high-rise apartment size apartments uh, per building on each ward. That'd be kind of cool. And at the same time, they could also make it so that they don't cost as much as a large property, right? Let's say, for example, a large home, just the plot itself costs like, you know, roughly 40 to 50 million. You could make so that the large loft or large high-rise could be like a uh, 5, not maybe 5 million, maybe 8 to 10 million, roughly 8 to 10 million, 5 to 10 million, depends, I don't know. And then inside the actual apartment, what would be cool is if you could actually upgrade a little bit more since like i said it is again instance content it would be kind of cool if you could actually expand the rooms a little bit more further up to a certain limit if you're going to be doing tiers of apartments honestly apartments were introduced to try to alleviate and give people a little piece of yours that they can call their home whether it be on actual land or whether it be an apartment building just something they can call their home be able to customize and we really like the idea and i think that would be totally cool I would totally buy myself an apartment, a large apartment. I would love to buy a high-rise with a nice overview from Shirogane so you can look down at everybody and be like, hey, look at this. This is a lovely view. This is a very lovely view. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool, though. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be totally down for it. Another thing they could do is make it so that wards can be upgraded or expanded as houses fill up for a ward. So let's say, for example, ward 12 is already full or coming up to be almost capacity for the most part, or 75% capacity, then ward 13 opens up. And then once that's filled up to 75% capacity, ward 14 opens up and so on and so forth. I like the idea. I don't know if it would be easy to implement or whether they put a lot of pressure on the servers. People would end up buying a lot of just the entire neighborhoods all by themselves because it's kind of easy to make guilt in Final Fantasy 14. I mean, just go gather and, you know, take take time out of your day and that's about it. I've seen people go from, like, literally from rags to riches, from zero to a hundred thousand, hundred thousand, hundred million in, I don't know, a month, <laughs> roughly. Nevertheless, uh, a lot of these ideas are pretty cool and I would like to see what Square is gonna bring up about it. Nevertheless, uh, if you didn't get a home, I am really sorry. I hope that you can get a home in 4.5 as soon as they announce the new system. If you do have a home, then uh, congrats. And if you do want to come visit us, we are currently right now, our FC is located over in Ward 11, house number 19 on Exodus of Prama Data Center in a goblet. So if you're a neighbor, feel free to swing by and say hello. And let's uh, hang out. Let's say hello to each other. My house is also in Ward 11. It's like house number 28 or 29. It's like off the beaten path. It has nothing there. So, but if anyway, if you want to say hello and you know want to be neighbors and stuff, then feel free to. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up around right here. If you have any ideas, any other ideas that I haven't mentioned yet uh, that you'd like to toss in in the comment section below, feel free to do so. If you have any particular thoughts about the housing system in general, whether it be good, positive or negative, feel free to toss it in as well. But let's have a a you know rational discussion i know people can get sometimes heated about this kind of thing and uh yeah that's about it <laughs> that's about it the, the housing system it was a mess though however i'm frustrated but at the same time relieved that it turned out the way it did although it's not the outcome we wanted i <sighs> can't really complain at least i know square you know yoshida is uh aware and yoshida's on the job y'all yoshida's on the job Nevertheless, hope you enjoyed. Uh, more commentary videos coming in pretty soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, every day. And I'll see you all next video of whatever I make. See ya!